So where do we start? OK, Mike, let's start with... The aim was £9,000. Now it is over. It's over a million pounds. Over a million pounds. Over a million pounds. <laughs> but you give all of that back if you could have your little girls. We totally understand this. But one of the things that you were all talking about was how people came out to see you. Many people who had been through or were going through the same thing. Were you surprised by the number of people? Before I lost Beth yeah. to suicide, I had no idea of the extent of the problem around Britain. As you saw in the video there, suicide is the biggest killer of under 35s in the UK. Nearly 200 school children a year are lost to suicide. I had no idea. You know, so was I surprised by the extent? Yes, of course I was. You know, it was absolutely shocking. And these people came to see us and they told the most heart-rending stories as well. Do you think the numbers are higher in your experience than the 200 per year? Yes. Yes, because not all suicides go down to suicide. You have misadventure, you have... Um, you, you have different verdicts. So I think, I think the problem is far greater. Yes, I do. And Andy... You know, when people were telling you their stories, because, you know, your girls were so young, and they, you were shocked, I know, by the, the age of some of the children who were taking their lives. Well, on this last walk, we were met by two families of 11-year-olds who had taken their own lives. What we've been trying to... What we learnt last year uh, by talking to so many suicide-bereaved parents they all kind of said the same thing, which was they didn't see it coming. Yeah. They learned about papyrus prevention of young suicide after their children had taken their lives and then learned suicide's the biggest killer of under 35 year olds. And they said, well, why is nobody telling us? Suicide is the biggest risk to our young people in, our life, in, in this country and nobody talks about it. So by the time we got to show them last uh, October, we kind of developed this kind of sense of anger really and, a, and a, a bit of a collective voice for suicide bereaved parents. And that kind of uh, drove us on to do something this year, which was uh, engage with the government to say, why aren't we talking about this? I, I've got to say, we're not just aiming at the government, we're aiming at all of you lot, everybody. We should be talking about suicide. But we have, we have picked an easy target, which is suicide on the national curriculum. If suicide is the biggest killer of young people in the UK, we should talk about it in schools. The government spends £40 million a year on the PREVENT programme, the anti-radicalisation, which is a, a risk, definitely a risk out there, as we saw with the, the, the two PCs fighting against the folk who were fighting there. But it's not the biggest risk. If we can spend £40 million on Prevent, surely we can actually mention suicide in the school curriculum. And in this way, we get people talking. It would, it would, you know, for young children, they would begin to understand that they can get over difficulties. But tell us about the petition. So we've got a petition on the government website. We're over 128,000 uh, signatures at the moment, which means the government have got to consider debating it in the House of Parliament. What that means is we need more signatures because the more people that sign it, and the, the uh, petition is really simple, is put suicide prevention on the school curriculum. That's also backed up by an early day motion by Andy's MP, Dr Neil Hudson, who's raised exactly the same for all the kind of backbench MPs. So it's really simple. If you can do anything as celebrities, please go out and promote our petition. Send it around whatever social media you've got. It's really simple. If Mike can do it on social media, we can. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <I> can. <laughs> I, 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 
<laughs> and the easiest way to find it is just Google Three Dads Walking. You go to our front page and it's got a big button that says petition and that takes the government website. So please, 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 let's get our MPs talking about this and debating this seriously. <laughs> So, Mike, you're not so hot on the tech, then, are you? You're not so hot on the technology. No, I, I have other skills, though, don't I? I have other skills. So maybe talking, but uh, as Tim and Andy have said, you know, we need your support as well, and your support will save young lives. If these young people learn the life skills they need in their school years, their educational years, they'll carry this into adulthood. They'll become parents themselves. Invaluable. We can save lives here. So please look at our website. We're very proud of it, and please, please act okay. on it. One final question. <laughs> One final question is, because when you're over 100,000 on the petition, obviously it has to be debated, have you had a response from the current government? Well, we had a response um, which kind of was useless. Um, they said we must do, must do everything to prevent this happening. They're not doing everything. They're absolutely not. So get on that website, sign that petition, help us save lives. Now, we know you're walkers, we know you're big sports fans, so please welcome three sporting dads, not walking dads. Favourite football pundit Chris Kamara, England rugby star Chris Robshaw and former boxing champ David Hay. <laughs> As a new parent, I can't possibly understand the pain you've been through. But your ability to turn that pain into action is truly heroic. I was unaware that uh, suicide was the biggest killer of people under 35. Didn't know that till tonight. Just that, you know, can spark a, a conversation. And the fact what you're doing in Parliament, I'm, I'm way behind it. And um, I definitely think this is something that should be implemented in schools, just that the knowledge of what this actually means, if those kids are being affected by it. I met these three guys tonight early on. Aren't they fantastic? <laughs> Woo! Absolutely brilliant. They weren't meant to find each other, but they have, and they've made uh, most of it. Well done. All of you, congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Please give it up for Chris, Chris and David, and the all-inspiring winners, Andy, Mike and Tim, the three dads walking.